Cancer almost took the life of a Sarasota man, but he won the fight and is now fighting for others. SNN local news reporter Candace McKellia has his story. The Team Tony Foundation was founded by a well-known Sarasota athlete. His story is an inspiration to many as he now fights to help others with a 200-mile bike ride coming up this weekend. Goodie bags and last-minute preparations are underway at Village Bikes for the third annual Team Tony Cycle for Life this weekend. Tony is an incredible inspiration to so many people. Tony McCachran will ride in the two-day, 200-mile event starting in Ormond Beach and ending in Lakewood Ranch with a buddy. I have no left peripheral vision, so now being a rider, I have to ride on a tandem. So I rely on some friends to do that with me. It wasn't always that way. This former racing athlete was in the best shape of his life while training in Sarasota about 10 years ago. As I was coming up Osprey Avenue, I literally blacked out and had a, have, had a seizure. I don't even remember it. At the hospital, a grave diagnosis. Doctors found a lemon-sized tumor in his brain and told Tony he had about one year to live. I went to Duke for treatments where I had two years of radiation four years of chemotherapy and five neurosurgeries. And next year he'll celebrate 10 years of being cancer free. Before he was diagnosed with cancer, Tony was an avid adventure racer, biking, running, kayaking. So after his doctors at Duke successfully treated him, Tony decided to pay them back in a big way. Duke has a fundraising watch, walk, which is a 5K walk. And so I thought I really wanted to give back to them for what they've done for me. So I thought I would do the 5K walk and continue home. To Florida. <laughs> to Florida. <laughs> to the bike shop. He raised $55,000 along the way and founded Team Tony in Sarasota one year later. What our foundation does is pair a cancer survivor, someone who's been through the cancer journey, with somebody who is a cancer fighter. Lori Mishas knows firsthand how helpful that can be. She's currently battling her third round of cancer. Even with the very supportive family and friends that you have and your medical team that you know comes in to make sure that you get what you need to get through the, the cancer diagnosis, it's so comforting and uh, supportive to feel that person that you can say, you know, what was radiation like? What was chemotherapy like? Um, hey, I'm down today, I got bad news, or my cancer's come back, and that person really gets it. With 65 riders this year, the goal is to get it to 100. As a cancer survivor, you always want to get back to those who are going through the fight. And give back big. There is a big celebration at McAllister's on Main Street in Lakewood Ranch on Sunday to welcome the riders home, open to the public. That starts at 3 p.m.